Welcome to Engineering TV. Today we visit Picatinny Arsenal in New Jersey. And I'm here with Major Michael Potratz. How are you today? Very good. Thank you, sir. He's going to tell us about the latest in robotics in the field in Iraq and Afghanistan and the, and the robots that are helping our soldiers on their missions and the latest in situational awareness technology. I had no idea about robotics. Zippo. I never even owned a remote control car. Mm -hmm. And one thing happened, you know, we were in Iraq and uh, I said, you know what, this is the way that uh, we need to focus. Mm -hmm. This is the way the future of combat is going to be. But uh, this is the SWORDS robotic weapons platform. And uh, what makes this system unique, this is the very first armed robot that was approved for deployment in support of the global war on terror. And uh, we have three of these robotic systems deployed to Iraq at this time. This uh, robot is designed to carry with it an M249 machine gun, which fires a 5.56 millimeter round at a rate of about 500 rounds per minute. The machine gun is mounted in this location right here. Mounts right on top of here. And the machine gun placed in locks into position, and it's ready to fire. This is uh, controlled remotely, and the mission behind this, it's designed to be sent into an area of known enemy activity or where you are assured that there is a dangerous threat against those soldiers. And this piece of equipment, this sword, was designed to give soldiers a buffer space between that known enemy threat and the troops using this weapon system. It's designed to provide reconnaissance as well as uh, provide firepower at that location of where the known enemy threat is. And one of the, uh, this system, the SWORDS, provides situational awareness through to the operator at a great distance away through the use of video cameras. This system carries with it a total complement of five video cameras in addition to the gun cam which is designed to give the target for uh, whatever it sees through the gun's point of view. With uh, the multiple antennas, each one of the different functions of a robot is uh, when, when, you're, when you're broadcasting uh, you have to, like the rule of thumb, whenever you have different frequencies you have different antennas. Mm -hmm. So, so different. Fu so, the robotic functions are coming over one frequency. The video multiple is frequencies. Yeah, okay. Multiple frequencies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That's why you denote that you have multiple antennas. Okay. Right. This is the uh, wide-angle camera, which provides the 180-degree viewpoint uh, for soldiers when they're using it. it. Gives them a full situational awareness of what's around the robot, so they can use the machine gun and engage that target. And then these are. These are the additional That's right. Views. You have a, you have additional you have a front camera down here. You have a scene camera which looks at what the turret looks at, and uh, you have the pan and tilt, and you also have a camera in the aft mm -hmm. for a backing up or rear view. And as we've been developing, uh, working with robots over these uh, many years, we've denoted that one problem or one difficulty. Uh, exist with these robots and that is the remote situational awareness. The ability to feel, see, and understand completely what surrounds your robot uh, when you're conducting missions. And here at EOD Technology we developed a new type of camera. It's called the wide angle camera. And instead of looking at life through a straw or a very narrow focused camera, we produce these cameras uh, in order to give the soldiers a full 180 degree viewpoint of whatever they're looking at. This allows us to see and understand completely what surrounds both the EOD robots as well as, um, as you see here, the example of it being placed on the swords. It gives you that remote situational awareness and it's a very easy plug and play system and it was developed right here at Picatinny Arsenal.